What's going on YouTube? Steven of Salon Guy here. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know in the comments below, literally, how are you? <laughs> you know, so uh, I, I'm trying to do more videos that are more technique based, more tip based. You know, I'm getting a lot of professionals that are watching, a lot of just regular clients that are watching. You know, if you're a professional stylist or in school, just let me know in the comments below. Just type in, you know, hey, I'm in school, I'm a hairstylist, I'd love to know. You know, I've been a hairstylist over 25 years. I think I'm going on 27 years, but it's interesting because I'm only 24 years old. Huh. <laughs> anyway, yes, I'd love to know who is watching my videos. If you're cutting hair on your own head, well, I wish you luck. <laughs> you know, my videos are usually more targeted towards, I'd say, professionals in mind because a lot of the methods and verbiage I'm using is geared towards stylists. But if you pick up something on your own that helps you cut your hair yourself, then that's great. But cutting your hair on your own is very, very tricky and it's not the easiest thing. And I get comments all the time from people saying, Steven, how do I do this to cut my hair? How can I cut my own hair with layers? And I go, you know what? Like, I don't know. I wish you luck, but I mean, the amount of education I have and the amount of training, the money I've invested in learning how to do all this stuff, you know, there's a lot to be said for that. So. I would just say, you know, I can't really guarantee cutting your hair on your own. So the topic of today's video is how to connect layers in the top back of the head, right into this area, right here. So here's a mannequin, here's the front of the head. What happens is I find that there's a huge issue and a disconnect when it comes to how to blend in this part right into here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just break down uh, a little bit of this haircut and more the technique and the method to explain what's going on here. Here's the back of the head. A lot of times I'll see stylists, what they end up doing, right, let's lower this down a little bit, is when they're cutting layers, they'll take the first section right here and they'll cut this as their guide, right? Which is totally cool. That's how I cut hair, right? I, I create my guide here and then I work in throughout the entire back. Where a lot of times people get lost is connecting this part into the top. What happens is a lot of times after a stylist will cut this back, they'll then take another section right on top of that and without really actually blending it together, they'll just take a section like this and cut it straight across, right? They'll cut it straight across and then what happens is when you bring this down, you're getting a harsh line right into here because you're literally just cut, holding this hair up horizontally without really blending it and then it falls here and I'm like, wait a minute, how do I have a line here? Now, the method that I do is, and I'll show you, I'll back up a little bit here, is once I'm done with the back, I go, okay, leave the past behind and now let's move forward, right? Let's move forward into the future here. So what I'll do is I'll take a section right in front of that last section that I cut from the back and the way I cut hair is basically through the top, the corners, and the sides, right? The top, the corners, and the sides. That's how I blend everything together. So for the whole top, you're basically focusing in just on this mohawk section. So what I'll do is I'll take a horizontal section right here. Instead of cutting this straight across this way, I will go in vertically, like so, and I will then connect the hair. So let's turn this way a bit. I'm gonna hold the hair up like so. There's a little bit of hair that I can connect this with. This is the top, this is the back, and it's now blended. What you're doing is you're literally connecting the sections. And that is how you blend the top here into the back. You do that for the entire top middle section of the head, or what I call like the mohawk section. And then once you're done, <laughs> they say you can leave, leave the past behind. Well, guess what? Now you're done. You're not gonna have that harsh line in the back of the head. Then what I do is I move forward. I'll bring the hair straight up, and then I'll start to cut my shape and my layers moving down through the center. So the key is, is really just blending and connecting the top and the back. This is the way I do it. Definitely works for me. I've been doing this for a long time and this is how I do all my haircuts. So, 
let me know if you found this video helpful. It's one of those discovery things. Try it on a mannequin. Make sure you're blending everything. Remember, you're not cutting the corners here. You're just connecting these two together because you don't want to start cutting hair that you've already cut. Remember, this is the past. Now we're moving ahead. So let me know in the comments below if you found this helpful. Give it a try. Let me know if you have like an aha moment where you're like, oh my gosh, this is so helpful to me. I really appreciate this. I'd love to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.